Hi. So I've had some requests for some low talking videos. So I'm going to do a Little Mermaid inspired eye makeup scheme today. And I'm just going to get started. So on when my skin gets a little bit dry in the fall and winter. So um, instead of using the primer that I usually use, I'm going to use this Aveda Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I really like it, but probably any tinted moisturizer would be fine. So, it kind of smells nice too. It smells like a spa. I should do a video where I do the loose bare minerals powder to show you the difference, but I have to get some. It's going to be like a teal greenish color. So I'm going to start with this pretty color called Caspian Sea. And I'm taking my angled brush. I'm going up into the crease and using the tip of the angled brush to kind of get all the way. symmetrical, but that's okay. I'm going to blend. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this brush. My little flat makeup. And I'm going into the color called Fins, which is actually like really a cool color. It's got like silver and gold sparklies in it. Mm, I'm gonna do green. 
underneath the crease on the lid. And then I'm going to take my favorite seashells color for highlight. And then I'm going to go into this color called the same brush I'm just go into this color called Atlantica. to the side. It kind of brightens up the whole look. So no matter what color scheme I'm doing, I always put the lighter color in the inside corner. Okay. I'm just going to go in with my fingers and gently this up a bit because it's pretty dramatic. Um, I'm going to go in with my little, the end of this brush. This is a really good brush. It's from Bare Essentials. And go in with the fins color. across the bottom. Okay. And maybe just for fun I'll put a little of the Caspian Sea right out here. today. This is, I don't like this one as much as I like my Kat Von D. I have to be honest, but this is a new thing. It's Benefit Push-Up Gel Liner. And so you, like, you have to see how it came out the end. I feel like if you're not totally comfortable using eyeliner, this might not be the one for you. There we go. But if you like gel liners, as far as gel liners go, I think this one is good because it really gives you some nice control. I like to 
put it a little thicker on the outside. And because this one doesn't set as well as the Kat Von D, what I like to do is take my little brush like this and just take a little black or some dark color eyeshadow and just kind of push it on top. I'm a big fan of using eyeshadow to help you set makeup on your face. If I had a green eyeliner like that, I might use that, because that would be pretty cool, but I don't. Ow. <laughs> this needs to be sharpened a little bit. Today I am feeling a little nude. And just for fun a little. Pinky gloss. I like when you find a nice lip gloss, it's a nice thing. I wish my hair was wetter, redder, because I feel like Ariel. 